<clears throat> everybody arriving at the Golden Road and all the fans here and everybody who uh, watching the movie uh, awards here at the uh, Beverly Hills the Beverly Hilton so for everybody here at the uh, Golden Globes as I was saying continuing my message for those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior I want to invite you to be invite you to become a Christian here at uh, the Golden Globes today you can commit your life to Jesus Christ and become a Christian and uh, so in order to do so though you have to realize that you're a sinner otherwise there's no need for Jesus Christ so the first thing to do becoming a Christian is to say to Jesus I'm sorry for my sins you have to know you're a sinner you have to believe you're a sinner or at least intellectually agree to it so you know Either way, maybe you've had a life experience where you realize you're a sinner or you've been sinned against. And we're all sinners, by the way. We're all born as sinners. It's called original sin. I don't want to get too complicated, but uh, we're all sinners. We all need salvation. We all need grace. And even after you become a Christian you'll be a sinner but you'll be sinning less and you'll be becoming more holy so so uh, first thing to do to become a Christian is to say I'm sorry Jesus for my sins thank you for dying to save me and welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you if you can do that right now then I uh baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And you are now a Christian. Congratulations and welcome to the family of God, the body of Christ. It's the biggest, most important decision of your life. You're now my brother or sister in Christ. You can call me brother. And, uh, but some of you say no, you laugh, you scoff, you reject this offer. Well, I just want to warn you that if you do die without knowing Jesus Christ, without committing your life to God, you will go to hell. And hell is eternal punishment, pain, and suffering. And no second chances after you die. So I hope you reconsider before it's too late. You can make your decision any time, but I really wouldn't gamble and just wait till a few minutes before you die. It's kind of a fool's game. But those of you who said yes, that's the happy news. You're now a Christian. And uh, the first thing you should do is start talking to God. We call that prayer. Talk to God all the time, wherever you go. When you're walking, working, driving, eyes open. Also when you're uh, in church, eyes closed. It's all good as long as you're talking to God. You're developing a relationship with Jesus Christ. He already knows everything about you, by the way. But he wants to hear from you. He wants you to use your free will to develop a relationship with him. So I'll help you do that as much as possible. Next, after you've been praying a lot, it's just read the Bible as well. You need a Bible. So first thing to do is, uh, the second thing to do is find a Bible. Get a Bible. Buy a Bible if you can. Or I'll mail you one for free if you send me, your, uh, send me a message on YouTube. there is actually talking about baptizing you and coming to Christ whoever is at the Golden Globes anybody who wants to become a new Christian I was in the middle of that I think I was talking about prayer and getting the Bible 
And then suddenly Sting, the musician, drove up. I'll have to, maybe I'll put that in this clip. I'll add that to this. So you don't think I'm just making it up. Sting, yeah, they, they get the guy from the uh, lead singer from the police. And he later went solo, of course. Famous. Sat there in front of us for a few minutes in his car. Anyways, I was talking about, uh, I think I was, I was on the reading the Bible, yeah, and then getting to church. Make sure you get a Bible. I'll get you one if you mail it. Uh, send me your name and address so you can get one at a bookstore, at a church, or library. Read them online. And then uh, find a church that uh, affirms traditional values. Make sure that uh, that includes defending unborn life. God is against abortion. So it defies his character as a, a great, compassionate, and merciful uh, Lord and Savior. And he wouldn't do that to people in general. There's been some, there are some stories in the Bible uh, you'll read that are seem horrific, where people get killed. But uh, in general, he's against that kind of stuff, especially uh, unborn babies. They can't defend themselves at all, but also newborn babies, elderly, widows, orphans, the poor. Oh, good shepherd. And the list goes on, but, you know, so we defend people in general. And uh, also a church that will affirm man, uh, one man, one woman marriage. That's what uh, the Bible is very clear about that. Beware of liberals leading you astray. Especially, I know you'll find a lot of liberals in the Hollywood and the movie industry and all that, but you're going to have to uh, stay away from that or block it out or somehow put it in a place where it's not going to lead you in the wrong direction. You don't have to become a Republican necessarily, but there are some values that are biblical that are more in line with being uh, conservative than, than liberal. So, uh, and also make sure you have a pastor that will clearly teach the Bible with confidence and courage and clarity, but also with compassion and uh, care here in Beverly Hills, California. And uh, I want to let you know that uh, I'll be praying for you. As a new Christian, it's not going to be easy. It doesn't mean everything's going to be instantly roses. It's going to be difficult, sometimes more difficult. You get persecuted, especially if you're in Hollywood, I suppose. I know, I, I'm, I'm from this area. And I know I've been persecuted because I'm conservative. So I just want to encourage you to stand strong. It's worth it in the end. You can message me on YouTube with any questions. Or for a free Bible or anything else. God be with you and bless you.